In this video, I'm going to be showing you and breaking down the resume that helped me land my very first medical writer role in 2021 and which helped me land my medical communications role in 2022, right? So two roles this resume has been successful in helping me land and I just wanted to share it with you, break it down because I've had a lot of people ask me, well, what does your resume look like? and how can I break into it and all that. So I'm going to share why I think this resume has been successful as inspiration for what you can do with your resume as you try to break into this profession. Let's get into it. So let's walk through it. So as you can see, my name and email, I also have my LinkedIn. I think this is really important because these days people want me want to see what else there is about you, um, but then, you, you know, not necessarily on your resume, right? So I put the link to my LinkedIn right there, as well as my portfolio, especially since I, I am a medical writer and I look for those types of jobs, okay? Then up here, I have an objective and I kept this to one sentence. And my advice to most people is to keep this to one sentence. You don't want an objective that takes up like a third or half of the page. Just one or two sentences will suffice. So I just say to use 14 years worth of experience in nursing, biomedical research and writing, marketing content assets in the life science industry to serve in a medical rights or communicator role. So, you know, basically I just talk about my experience, right? And then I talk about the kind of role I want to get into. So talk about your experience and the kind of role you want to get into. So immediately they know, oh, this person has a lot of experience and, you know, they want to work in the role that we are advertising for. Now, of course, now I have had roles both at, at CG Life and at Thermo Fisher Scientific. So my resume looks much better. But when I didn't have these experiences, what I did have were my adjunct faculty role, my independent health or basically freelance health and medical writing role, and then being a postdoctoral scientist. And the reason why I put the adjunct and then the postdoctoral scientist was because I wanted to show that I had worked in the, um, you know, the scientific enterprise before, and therefore I had the requisite knowledge. But also I put this here, even though I was a freelance health writer, right? Listen, if you are doing anything freelance, if you're doing anything, even some things that maybe you have volunteered for in an internship or anything like that, I don't really like unpaid internships. But the point I'm trying to make here is that every experience is valuable, right? And this freelance health writer experience that I, I had for like three years, paved the way so much for me. So sandwiched in between these two experiences that said I had the requisite scientific knowledge was right here talking about how um, I would use that scientific knowledge to start a freelance health writer business. I wrote research-based educational blog content, brochure content, social media content, marketing newsletters for these companies and therefore hire me, right? And then at the end here, I put my education. I always tell people that I don't lead with my education on my resume because in a lot of non-academic jobs, it's not always about your education. Yes, your education is important and they appreciate somebody with your background, right? But what you really want to highlight are the skills. So I put the education last because when people's eyes hit my resume, I immediately want them to say, oh, she has a requisite experience experience that we have or she has the specific skills that we're looking for so as you read job descriptions this is why i'm always saying read job descriptions and look at what they're asking for and then you want to frame your experiences in that context and that's exactly what i've done here so now that i have the experience with cg life and with them official scientific i can put that there and you know again you want to keep the job descriptions short and to the point you don't want to over emphasize but you really want to actually you should over emphasize but what you want to over emphasize is not just a list of things you've done but the specific skills in that role that are related to that particular job that's what you really want to highlight because of course like i've done so many other things in these roles but i know that if i want to go for a medical writer communicator role there are specific things they're looking for and therefore i need to highlight those so application notes, PowerPoint slides, video content, um, you know, working with brand strategists, marketing content, all that. I need to emphasize that. So 
emphasize those things. I know that for many academics, this can be hard because our whole lives revolve around a lot of long accolades and publications and education. But I found the hard way that in most on academic jobs, they just jobs. They just really want to see that you can do the job that they need you to do. I hope you enjoyed that. What did you learn from this video? Let me know in the comments below. I know that resume advice can be varied and sometimes even contradicting. So let me know what surprised you, what didn't surprise you, anything. Let me know that in the comments below. Also, I wanted to talk about my 90 minute class on breaking into medical communications, medical writing as a profession. So many people have complained to me to let me know that it is such a hard nut to crack. And in this class, I break down what you can do to set yourself up for success as you look for medical writer roles. And as a bonus, I have thrown in my book, Win at Freelance Writing, that I wrote just basically sharing those three years of freelance writing, all the lessons that I learned about being a paid writer, right? Somebody who that really got paid real money to write. I share that in that book and I give that book as a bonus for that class. So if you wanna check out that class, go to this link right here to check it out.